Faith, I'm feeling good. It is much warmer in here. It's still cold outside. We're at 24 degrees. And earlier today, we got into the teens. We were at 19 as we were into the 7 o'clock hour in Greenville. And check this out. We were colder than Bismarck, North Dakota, Anchorage, Alaska, Billings, Montana, and Colorado. It's hard to believe that we were actually colder here in the Delta than Alaska. But yes, that was the case this morning. Very cold air across the region and yesterday was very cold as well. Only reaching a high of 33 in Greenville and 36 in Greenwood. We shattered a record low in Greenwood yesterday of 25 degrees that was set back in 1950. Nearly 70 years ago, getting down to 22 and we tied that record set back in 1950 here in Greenville of 24 degrees and many other locations across the Delta such as Grenada and Cleveland will also break records this morning as everyone is has gotten down into the teens and take a look at where the coldest air is situated right over the Midwest into our area. It's actually still colder in Greenville than it is in New York City, Washington, D.C. and we are the same temperature as Boston. And look at that Jacksonville and New Orleans also cold this morning. So it's cold all around the southeast. The only warm exception is probably Miami, Florida and taking a look at Greenville. Not feeling like Florida today. We're at 24 degrees as you're stepping out and take a look at Greenwood just a little bit cooler and that wind chill at 16 this morning. So the wind is blowing just a little bit, not like it was yesterday, but still very cold and taking a look throughout. We're at 30 in Atlanta, 26 Chattanooga. And as we head across the Magnolia State, we're in the 20s all the way down to Hattiesburg this morning and looking a little bit closer. It is 23 in Clarksdale, 21 in Tunica, 16 degrees still in Oxford this morning, 26 in Jackson and 28 in Vicksburg and taking a look at the radar. Nothing going on across our region. It is dry across the entire Magnolia State. Still see these freeze warnings in effect. They will expire as we head into the 10 o'clock hour as temperatures rise above freezing. But we're also looking at dry conditions today. We're not expecting any rain. We'll see that sunshine return. Another cold front is going to enter the area. Not as strong as the <laughs> this one. We're not going to dip back and hit the teens, but still going to be cold and take a look at this. We're going to see some showers try to develop along this front. Most of that is going to stay to our south. It is possible we see a couple of showers in the Delta, especially to our south. Humphreys County, Issaquina and portions of Yazoo County have the best chance of rain in the further north you go the less chance of rain you will have. High pressure will build back in Friday. There's a lot of teams that are playing in the playoffs across the region this Friday. Weather is going to be great. It is going to be cold. Be sure to bundle up because we're going to dip back into the 30s and upper 20s. And for today, by 10 a.m., we'll see those temperatures reaching about 32 degrees. Still at the freezing mark. It's going to be cold through much of the morning, but by 2 p.m., check that out. We'll be in the mid 40s before falling back into the 30s by 6 p.m. And today, we're going to have a high of 44 degrees. It's going to be another chilly day, mostly sunny skies, a northeast wind becoming south about five miles per hour. And we'll see those temperatures warm into the mid 40s to upper 40s across much of the region. So warmer than yesterday, but still going to be chilly. And for tonight, we'll drop to 32, which is actually going to feel pleasant considering we were in the teens this morning. Still cold, though, and we'll see those mostly cloudy conditions with a calm wind. And the rest of the region typically going to be right at or below freezing. 29 in Clarksdale, 30 in Carrollton, and 32 in Chula and tomorrow another cool day still well below average. We'll see that chance of an isolated shower mainly to our south. We'll see those cloudy and cool conditions continuing and for the seven day forecast Thursday we will have that slight chance of rain. Most locations will remain dry, but it will be pretty cloudy tomorrow before that sunshine returns for Friday and Saturday. And as we head into next week, we'll gradually warm faith. We'll gradually take those all steps toward the 60s, but unfortunately it looks like we're going to stay pretty chilly through Friday.